channel Button and Pip. Today is all about what I've been sewing in April and it's been a mad month actually. I think because I've had a couple of weeks off school um, I've just been really busy and just getting on with things and I've actually been sewing a lot for other people in my family. Um, let's just jump straight in shall we? So the first thing I'm going to show you today is what I'm actually wearing which is an Agnes dress hack. I love this pattern. Um, how many have I got actually? This one, two, three, four, probably about five. And I don't think the obsession is going to stop there. So let me jump up and show you. So it's the Agnes top and it ends at the waist. And what I've actually done is added a gathered skirt. It's a really simple hack and it just makes a lovely dress actually that just kind of feels like my secret pyjamas and I can wear it all the time. Um, I spoke about this fabric actually in my last um, vlog. It was a surprise purchase. I popped into my local shop, so uh, so your own wardrobe in Ashby, and I just saw this fabric. It's loop back jersey, so it's slightly thicker than what I've ever really used before. A bit almost like on the weight of a Pontaromi, sort of in between a normal jersey that I'd wear and a Pontaromi, and. It is so lovely and soft and it's actually got little cats all over. Just love it. And I've actually worn it quite a few times since I've uh, made it and I can kind of get away with it for work as well. So that's what I've been making. I've been making a few things more for me as well. So first of all, actually, I'll start talking about what I've been making for others. Now, I have sewn for my girls in the past but I've really struggled to actually find a pattern that they like and also that's kind of easy to do. This pattern for my youngest is the New Look 6569 pattern. Now I picked this up last summer and I asked her actually which version that she wanted. A which is a dress, B which is a long jumpsuit or C which is a small play suit and she chose version A. Okay, which is a lovely little dress with, well, let me just show you what I've actually made and then I can talk it through that way. So it's a little dress, it's got a bodice and then a gathered skirt. It reminds me a little bit actually of this Agnes or just any Agnes dress. And it's got this sort of bow detail. It's a bit like a, um, what's it called? A flounce. Is it a flounce? Yeah, I think it's a flounce. But it has, has a bow detail that kind of pulls it up. And it's only on the front. And it's got some gathered elastic. Oh, I really can't do it today. Gathered elastic straps. Uh, now, the pattern actually has a elasticated waistband. Now, what I found, as soon as I put this on, the bodice was huge. And with it being jersey as well, the amount of ease in this pattern was just ridiculous. So I looked at it when I put it on, and what I thought was, do you know what? I'm not going to add the waistband, the elasticated waistband, because that would just still look really strange under the arms with the bodice. So what I actually did is I just chopped off, I think it was almost about two or three centimetres to either side. That's how much ease there was in this pattern. And then I've just attached the actual waist uh, gathered skirt directly on to the bodice. So it's almost exactly what I do with my Agnes hacks, okay? Um, now this fabric, I spoke about this quite a while ago, in a wash with some other fabric and it kind of dyed it. And it was patchy where the dye patches were. So actually using it for this pattern, I was able to find where the dye patterns were and kind of work around it. And she loves it, she absolutely loves it. And I've actually bought some more fabric and I'm gonna make her another one ready for summer. As soon as she put it on, she just was twirling in it. And it just looks so cute. I'm just really, really pleased with that one. So that's the first make I've made for my youngest. And I can't do one without the other. So I had to make my eldest daughter. Now this is where the difficulty comes. If anybody else has like a pre-teen daughter, she's nine, it's all a negotiation of what to wear. So I had to find a pattern that she okayed and she loves this pattern, which is the new look 6389. Now it's got loads of versions. It's got a dress with a tie belt, a dress with a dipped hem, 
um, a long jumpsuit and a play suit. Now, this is what I made, but I'll tell you the story of how this came about. So, I bought this fabric from the V Haberdashery and it's got lovely flamingos all over it. It's a, a viscose rayon and I always buy, I always thought that website sold it in per half metre and she originally wanted C, the long jumpsuit which requires two metres of fabric. So I typed in four, thinking the quantity, meaning two half metres, uh, four half metres to make two metres would be four. Then when I got it, I realised I'd made the mistake really, that they actually sell it in quarters. They do a lot of quilting fabric, so I think that's where the quarters have come from. And it was my mistake, so when I look back on the email, it clearly says quarter metres, so it was my mistake. But in actual fact, it worked out as a happy mistake because when I told her that I didn't have enough to make the long jumpsuit and I showed her D, which is the play suit. She went, yeah, okay, mummy, oh, that looked quite nice. And in actual fact, she's even said, mummy, I'm glad that we've actually got the play suit, the shorts, rather than the long. So it was a happy um, mistake. Now, I've kind of done a bit like that. I've kind of mixed up the versions. So she wanted a flounce. See, I remember the word now, on the front. So I've done the flounce. I haven't done the tie straps because she didn't really want all that fuss there. So I've just gone with the plain straps. And also actually with the flounce, I haven't done it all the way around. I've only actually done it to the front. Now that was my mistake again. I didn't read the instructions and I only cut one out rather than two. And I didn't have enough fabric anyway. So happy mistakes. And uh, this has got elasticated at the top and also elasticated at the waist. Now I cut out a size 10 and she's quite a tall nine year old and I thought oh well big four loads of ease. In actual fact this one has come up spot on and it is actually perfect for her size and I'm gonna have to find some fabric to make another one because in actual fact we were shopping together in H&M and I noticed that there are loads of these jumpsuits actually in the shelves and in the high street at the moment. So it's right on trend. So she's I'm probably a little cool mum for her, making her something. But I actually really want to steal this because I love the fabric choice. And when she put it on with her denim jacket, I was just like, oh, it looks so cute. And I was just really, really chuffed with that one. And she loves it. So it's been actually with the lovely Easter that we had, it's been in the wash on, in the wash on, so it's gonna get loads of wear actually this summer. So that's a really big thumbs up. Now, I couldn't leave my husband now because it's not fair making for the girls and not making for him. So I have made him a pair of Hudson pants. This is, he's got two long and a pair of shorts and this is his second long ones. And this is just some loop back. Oh, I've got threads all over the place on this. Sorry. Um, this is loop back thick jersey that I've picked up from a place called Colville Fabrics. Now it's a all online on Facebook. And in actual fact, it's only a couple of miles down the road from me. So when I first, I don't know how I actually came across it, but when I first came across it and then I kind of looked up where they are, it's only down the road, so it's, it's really useful actually to go and pick up rather than pay for postage. Now, the way that Colville Fabrics works is you join the Facebook group and then every Sunday, Mark and his team, they do a live Facebook video showing the fabrics and it's already cut in pre-cut lengths and it tells the price, says a keyword and then you have to quickly type in the comments if you want that. So I've picked up this and some other fabric, which I'm going to do actually a whole other video about all the fabric that I picked up in April. And this is perfect. I think it was three meters, or was it? Yeah, three meters for something like six pounds. So it was a real bargain and he loves them. In actual fact, he's gone away on holiday and I was kind of hoping that he wasn't gonna take these so that I could show them to you. And they are a big success because he just loves coming home, sticking them on after work and just sort of lounging around the house. Now, I've done a cheeky thing actually. I tried them on and they actually fit me. So I'm thinking, instead of buying the ladies Hudson pants pattern, I might actually just use the male one. And I know it's only for lounging, so even if they are a little bit baggier around the legs rather than the slim legs, or maybe I could taper the legs a little bit more. 
Either way, if anyone actually has the male and the female hoods and pants pattern, could you kind of tell me what actually is the difference? Because I love the style of these, so I'm wondering whether I can just get away with using the male pattern for myself. And I've actually got enough of this fabric to make my own, so yeah, that might be something that I'll do. So he's really happy with that. Now, the rest of the sewing that I've done is actually for me. And this one, I know is just going to be a staple in my summer wardrobe. Now, Sugardale is a lovely designer over in America, and I bought the pack of three of hers on the Kickstarter. So the Evelyn overalls, which you may have seen that I have a slight obsession with, I seem to be wearing them all the time. The Len overalls, and then the Hilda skirt. Now, this is a lovely gathered simple skirt that's going to be perfect for summer that I know that I'm just going to stick on whenever really that I just feel like I don't really want to wear so I stick this on with a t-shirt and off I go. Now this fabric is an indigo chambray from Material Girl Laura and it's just a perfect weight for this dress. So it's a gathered skirt, a zip and a little button at the back. Now, the best thing about this pattern has to be the pockets. They are huge. Like, look how far my hand goes in. Now, Sugardale patterns, uh, the lady that runs them, I sort of mentioned how amazing these were. And she was saying that it's just, well, she was saying that she hasn't used a handbag in years. She just loves big pockets and they are massive so that is a massive thumbs up for this Hilda skirt and I've worn it already last week when I went out for a shopping trip and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wear it again and again and again so yes I love that pattern now the next one actually was this material was actually given to me by winning a competition over at Crafty So and So for their sort of makers competition. So I had a £20 voucher, looked on their website and I saw this triple crepe. So it's quite a heavy weight crepe in this sort of burgundy. Now I've made these uh, for work and they are the ultimate, I'll whack myself in the face there, ultimate clots from So Over It. Now I've got, this is my third pair that I've made and these are the sort of the heaviest type that I've made and they're just going to be perfect for this spring and going into summer day because my, my room at school can get quite cold so it's just perfect. I haven't made the waistband because I thought with it being quite heavy that I didn't want to kind of add any bulk because they are very high waisted even without the waistband just with the facing. Um, so yeah, I just left that off and they are lovely. Now, with the hem, I tried hand stitching it and you could kind of see where I, it, it kind of, puck, not puckered, it dented where I sewed it. And I've tried, I've tried so hard to do um, the blind hem presser foot. I cannot work out how to work that. So I've just gone with a bit of a cheat, actually. Now, you know that fusing web, the long strip that you do hems with? I've used that for this. And it reminds me, actually, of my dad fixing my brother's school trousers. Um, just so iron it on and off you go. And it's perfect, really. Now, it's given a really crisp edge and I think because it's a heavyweight fabric actually it's fine to work with this I think maybe with the lightweight it might make it too bulky and too stiff but yeah cheat and a perfect way to finish my trousers so I haven't worn those for work actually I might wear them for work this week with me May May but yeah I'm loving that with a nice crisp crisp white shirt would look lovely big thumbs up another fantastic pattern used again now this one I love and I made it actually up in a day. So when I picked up that fabric with my voucher, I had a look online at Crafty So and So, what other fabric they had. And they had this vintage floral viscose and it was a bargain. I think it was like seven pound a meter. And I, I do love a bargain. I like paying for really nice quality fabrics, but sometimes I love getting a bargain. 
So I picked up three meters of this and as soon as I saw it, I knew exactly what I wanted to make and it had to be an Eve dress. Now, I've just got my summer wardrobe down and I got my other Eve dress out from last summer and I just love it. It's like a really summery wrap dress, floaty. And when I wore that one, I wore it on my last day of school last year and I was just like swanning around like, woo or summery so yeah I've made another Eve dress it's really long actually so it is oh, that's so terrible oh my goodness the amount of threads that I have seen on some of these garments is quite shameful to be honest with you I need to be a little bit better at sorting and finishing it I think I just get so excited when I finished that I'm just like right put it on put it on I think I've got one on here as well where was it this morning and I kind of just took it in. Look there, another thread. See, I'm just too eager to get them on and then I forget. Anyway, let's get back to this. So, Eve dress, it's a wrap dress. Oh, and it's got two versions. I think you can have the straight skirt with also the long sleeves, but I've gone with the dipped hem. I love that. And it's quite a low, it's like a midi style. So it's really pretty and a fluted, sleeves now like I was saying I cut this out and I actually made it up in one afternoon um it was really simple to be honest with you and it's got some lovely sort of gathered shoulders just at the front to give some shaping and I just love it and I know this is going to be a perfect dress for the summer just to be sticking on when it's kind of that sticky horrible sort of weather and sticking it on and just being all the way around and maybe a, a cheeky jeans tea in it as well but yeah so actually out of everything that mm, everything I made this month I think it's gonna have to be I really love this no 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 so this is gonna be my favorite and I kind of wish that I can have that in my size not gonna fit me I wish I could I'm gonna am I gonna copy it would that be kind of strange copying my nine-year-old I don't know she probably won't be impressed with it but I might even if I make a little logs and come out of that fabric but yeah this is gonna have to be my favorite of my April makes I know that I'm gonna get so much wear out of it and it's kind of someone actually made a really nice comment that it's a floral but not being the usual pink it's a really interesting fabric so yeah I love that one right hasn't it been a bit of a mad month. I'm, I'm actually quite amazed of what I've got done this month. I've also been a bit cheeky and done a bit of cheeky fabric shopping. So instead of putting it on this and making it a massive video, I'll film another vlog with just my fabric haul and maybe some of my makes over May. But yeah, thank you ever so much for popping along and having a look what I've made. Oh, and also thank you to everybody that has subscribed. I've just reached the 1000 subscriber sort of milestone and I'm really, I'm really flattered that that many people want to come along and see what I've been sewing. So yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, if you could like this one and if you haven't subscribed, if you could subscribe, it's gonna be cheeky and say it out there. But yeah, hope to see you again soon and bye-bye.